Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise Let the us Lord. stand up and we'll go to the Lord. I know probably there'll be some coming in a little bit later, so. Uh, does any, those that are here, does anybody have a uh, spoken request? No spoken request? Okay. How many unspoken requests? Okay. Okay, like I said, we'll get started, and then I imagine as we go on, the you know, others will come in. Just imagine if it was a snow day, they'd really be late. <laughs> okay. Uh, precious Savior, Lord, once again, we humbly look to you. And Lord, uh, we come in fellowship uh, of one spirit. Lord, our intentions are to, to reach that place of maturity as you've put that fivefold ministry and instructed it and continue to instruct it. And Lord, we'd be led by your spirit to, to bring forth a, something that's in your image, Lord. And so tonight I just pray that that can be done by, Lord, lifting up your name in song and worship and praise. And I just pray you'll bless that song service. Move on every heart here, Lord, and every voice counts, every single voice. Lord, also I, I pray for the, the message tonight that you would anoint it. And Lord, let it be just a blessing not, to just every individual, Lord, that they can feel something, not only here, but those that might go on the website. And I, I pray for even the other ministers that are, are going on tonight, Lord, that you might touch them and anoint them. And, Lord, lead them with the, your Holy Spirit to, to say that very thing that, that is, seems to be a secret to every other. But to, to your people, Lord, it's a, a warm message to our soul. Again, I ask it all in your name, in that wonderful and precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, it's good to be here this evening. I'm happy and I'm blessed. We'll sing page four in the blue, the Christmas book. I don't know very many of these, so I'll just hold off playing guitar. But uh, Christmas book. Which number? Four. Okay.
was thinking today about how in tune, I say in tune, that's the word I would use, but how in tune the wise men and Mary had to be with God. You know, God, Mary was told that she was going to have a son, and she had to explain to her husband that it wasn't his, this came from God. That's a hard task to do. But she had to be very close to God and in tune with God and know his will and his presence. And the wise men, how they traveled far. You know, we just, we, we sing the song, well, they traveled afar. They traveled a long distance and they followed. But we, we, send, we tend to sometimes have to just go down the street to come to church and we get, we get you know, distracted or things get us distracted but they had to be in tune with God and I believe that's the way the bride of Christ will be in the end times we'll have to be in tune with what he wants us to know and how he wants to lead us because that's how he's going to lead us through uh, we have a lot of uh, thoughts and uh, but I see that his ways are way higher than our ways We'll sing page 16. We sang it the other day, but we'll sing that one again. I love these songs. come his wife come to him and say I have a I'm going to bear a son this is from God and him be able to say I believe you I trust you because I know that you're a godly person and I and I know that God's doing this and you know and accept that and then what a, what a marvelous gift we receive you know let us be and more in tune with God. That's, I was just thinking about that. Just, and there's probably millions of examples, but I, you know, just this season made me think of those. 
being in tune with our Creator. Do you want, do you want 20, not 19? Oh, 19, oh, either one, 19, 20, whichever one. It's two different songs. Yeah, 19 and 20. Yeah, 19, then we'll sing 20. <laughs> What's that? Oh, come, let us adore him. I, I think you're thinking 20 is 19. All right. Oh, yeah, okay. Page 20. Let's go to 20. This is like, uh, this is like the... Uh, Oh, maybe I don't some know what 19 morning, is. Some glad morning we shall see. Yeah, or they got the same words, but two different songs. Same okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, uh -huh. 
rendition here. I'll write it out. Hopefully it's the same words. Just follow along with me. I was uh, uh, it was probably, man, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago I was, we'd stopped and got um, those roasted chickens from the store, the pre-made ones, for, for those of you who don't like to cook. <laughs> And uh, they, they come hot, and all you have to do is get some microwavable veggies or, or something. So we got some microwavable veggies, and then I, I got some, um, uh, I'm trying to cut back on carbs, so they have these, they're like mashed potatoes, but they're made out of um, cauliflower. Okay. Okay. Now, now, they look like, they look like um, mashed potatoes on the picture, but they don't, they don't taste like mashed potatoes. <laughs> Cauliflower doesn't taste like mashed potatoes. You can put some butter in there and you can put some garlic in there and it still doesn't taste like mashed potatoes. But, but you, you eat it anyway, right? And I was outside and I had the chicken. I, I learned to cut a chicken uh, from Boston Market years ago. I watched the guy pull the thing out and he you know, cuts the spine out, did the thing, pull it out. And he did it all in like under oh, one minute, cut a whole, whole little Cornish hen. 
And, and I watched him do it, and then I, I sat at that table and I watched him do it like three times, and from then on, I knew how to cut, cut a chicken, right? And so when, when Thanksgiving came around, you think you can cut a turkey the same way. You, you can't, you can't tuck a, cut a turkey the same way, <laughs> unless you had like an ax or, or something. So I'm, I'm, I'm out there, and I'm cutting this, this Cornish hen or whatever it is, little chicken, and the neighbor's dog is like staring at me, right? licking its lips. There's two dogs over there, a lab and a hound. And the dog's licking its lips. Now, I'll be honest with you, I, I give these dogs snacks all the time. I have actual little dog bones, the milk bones that you, you're, you're supposed to give them. And I, I throw the dog snacks all the time. And the dog's out there licking its lips, watching me cut this chicken. And I've heard for years and years and years, Brother Dan, you don't, you don't give a dog chicken bones. You can give them a lot of other bones, but you don't give them chicken bones because it'll splinter, I guess, or I don't know what it does to them. Will anybody know what does it do to them? It's bad for them, right? I, I, that's all I know is it's bad for them. So I'm telling the dog, I can't give you this. It's bad for you. And the dogs, they don't care, right? They're wagging their tails, and they just know I'm going to give it to them. And I I cut it all up, I put all the thing, and then I wrap it all up and I throw the bad stuff away. I take the chicken in, and the dog, Brother Highsmith, if a dog could pout, man, these dogs were pouting, like really bad. And I'm staring at the dog, and the dogs are salivating, and I know I can't give it to them, and they want it so bad, you know? And, and I know, Brother Sergio, when you smell chicken, man, it, it, I start salivating. You know, I, I'm not a dog, I don't think, but... I got a back scratcher. I, I, get, I scratch my, I like scratching myself with a back scratcher, but I felt so bad for these dogs, and I'm looking at the dog, and I was like, if I could, I would, but it's really, truly, honestly not for you. It's bad for you. And as I was walking in, I thought of all the times where something I came across in my lifetime that I wanted really bad, Brother Highsmith. It was that, that piece of chicken that I really needed, and I started salivating, and God told me that I can't give this to you because you think it's good for you, but it's not good for you. They say don't give a dog chocolate for the same reason, right? And I, I thank God for all the times that he blessed me by not blessing me. <laughs> because there have been so many times I know that uh, if I had gotten what I wanted, it wouldn't have been good for me. And this has nothing to do with Christmas or, or Oh Holy Night or anything else. It's just on my heart. And I thought, um, the next time you feel defeated, you know, and maybe you feel like the enemy's got you and you, you were cheated out of a, 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 a position at work or you didn't get the bonus that you wanted or whatever, just think about maybe the Lord knows that that chicken bone isn't really good for you. And, uh, and now Oh Holy Night. <laughs>
and in his name all oppression shall cease. Sweet hymns of joy in chorus we raise we when all us praise his holy name. Christ Just young growing up, uh, my dad was a really good musician, and anyway, I always loved music, and so mom played the organ, so we, we always had something going, so uh, we like to just, I thought I'd just play a couple little songs here. Okay, I gotta think what I wanna do here. Thank you. 
trying to get the song in my head. I can't get it in my head. Should have the music. trying to figure go tell it on the mountain I couldn't figure out what I should have had you start and then I can remember uh, okay we're going to turn it over to brother Manny may God bless you Praise the Lord. Okay, thank you. Uh, you may all sit down. Um, it's, uh, I had to tell work that I couldn't take other emergencies because I had to come here. <laughs> but uh, there's some people, uh, I felt really bad because this, you know, someone's refrigerator's down and you tell them you can't go. <laughs> but uh, just, to, just appreciate the Lord for making a way to be here. Um, have uh, been real busy lately. Um, I just, I'm sure everyone is <laughs> getting ready for, for uh you know, everything has to be big, right? We have to make everything super big, right? We can't just keep it simple. But I, uh, I thank God for giving us the ability to, to uh, do what we do. Um, uh, I, uh, I've told the guys, you've always asked, you, you always hear people ask, uh, they'll, cons they'll, 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 They'll start asking if you if you if you had this much money, would you still do what you do? And I'd have to say that I would. I uh, I would still work at my job because I, I do enjoy it. Um, all right. 
uh, we're going to continue with this message. Um, I really, um, consider the other more cheerful messages because of the season, but um, we'll just go ahead and continue with this message. Um, we were looking at, brothers and sisters, um, a couple letters that were written by, a, uh, by an archbishop. You know, what's interesting, brothers and sisters, is that there's, there's other other priests that are other Catholic priests that are actually preaching against the church um, and they put their videos online right now um, and it's it's very interesting I never have uh, run across that before well I've never really been interested in listening to priests preach but um, but it's it's There's some things, brothers and sisters, that are really uh, causing everything to be shaken. Um, and I believe it's God, really, that, that, uh, that is shaking many, many things right now, uh, this country. Let me see. Um, we not only read, brothers and sisters, portions of these two letters, but we heard uh, President Trump um, direct himself, brothers and sisters, to both the UN and uh, the World Economic Forum, uh, if you remember that. All right, and in both of these, brothers and sisters, he He was taking the opposing view of what the majority of the audience um, was for. Now, it is not to say, brothers and sisters, that that uh, of all the, the that only Americans feel a certain way, brothers and sisters. But it, I, I've been very surprised, brothers and sisters, as to how. Uh, there has been many people around the world in countries, uh, much, much poorer countries that understand. I mean, I've heard people, brothers and sisters, talk about our history, our founding, our constitution, and they're not even in this continent. And they know it, brothers and sisters. Very, very impressed with that. Um, uh, just to show you. But... Uh, we were looking at something that is being uh, carried out, brothers and sisters, something called the Great Reset, um, and, and, and Biden has already said that, that he would implement this uh, agenda of the Great Reset. Um, I, uh, I'm trying to remember the uh, the president of Belarus. Do you know his name, brother? He's over by your neck of the woods. Uh, Lukashenko, Lukashenko, Alexander Lukashenko, um, which is accused of stealing the last election in his country a few months ago, but. Uh, I just read a headline this morning, brothers and sisters, that said that the, the IMF had offered him almost a billion dollars to lock down his country. That's what he said. Now, why do you think, brothers and sisters, that someone that is not even based in your own country is interested in you locking down your country? There was a lot of, uh, there were several requirements that they were asking him to do before they gave him the money. 
Uh, but that was the biggest one. Now, I didn't read the whole thing, brothers and sisters, but he wasn't in favor of doing that. And so you, you, you have to ask, brothers and sisters, how many others have been bribed to lock down the whole country, to shut down businesses? Um, do we have problems like that with governors of states here? If, uh, if someone was to really look into that, right? Um, but they are doing this, brothers and sisters, in, I imagine, other countries as well, not just Belarus. Um, that's probably what happened in Romania, brother. Um, all right. All right. Uh, and sometimes, brothers and sisters, you cannot go too far into a, a topic without touching another topic. And so I want to touch on a topic right now, a brief subject that, and I really hope, brothers and sisters, that this doesn't make people uncomfortable. Um, these subjects tend to, but I think it's, I don't like to be ignorant, brothers and sisters, about what is going on around me. Um, and I'm not going to live, brothers and sisters, so much in there's a saying that I've heard, I have heard you say in Brother and Sister, Brother Hevner, that uh, you can be so heavenly bound that you're no earthly good. You're so spiritual that, that uh, you, it's like you don't even live on planet Earth. And, uh, and the things that go around, uh, you know, on around you don't affect you. And I want to be informed, Brother and Sisters, not just so that I can say I am, and, uh, and not because I believe, Brother and Sisters, that that those things are all that matters. But brothers and sisters, we, we are, God has us here to make a difference. Um, but the subject is, brothers and sisters, because the, the great reset is that word, and we talked about the meaning of that word. When we look at our economic system, Capitalism, brothers and sisters, this program is to reset capitalism and replace it with socialism. Um, and so we have to look at, brothers and sisters, very briefly the history of currency and money and currency because this great reset affects that. It, it tends to change the way our system it works right now. Um, And so we're just going to look at some, ver some, some basics, brothers and sisters. Um, everyone knows during World War II, brothers and sisters, the United States did not enter the war right away. And the U.S. benefited greatly in not doing so. Yet, brothers and sisters, she supplied most of the armament, uh, most of the ships, most of uh, the weapons, um, everything, brothers and sisters, was purchased from the U.S. by the European countries. Um, and brothers and sisters, by the end of the war, the United States had uh, between 75 and 90 percent of, of, of all of the world's gold. That's amazing to think of that. Almost all the wealth in the world was right here. And so what happened, brothers and sisters, we know that uh, we know that there was America, brothers and sisters, that rebuilt Europe. Um, but how could that be done, brothers and sisters? What, what they did then in, uh, uh, right after the war is that, brothers and sisters, they needed, a, they needed a new financial system. And every economy in the world was, had, been, had been wrecked, except for the United States. And so what they did, um, there is, before I, pr I proceed further into that, brothers and sisters, um, brother, do you have that chart, I'm sorry, uh, picture? It's in the Dropbox. 
that says four industrial revolutions chart. I wanted to put that up there. Um, you know, there's other inventions and other m smaller, lesser revolutions that have occurred, brothers and sisters. For example, you look there and you don't see, for example, nuclear, uh, you know, uh, in between electricity and computing, of course, there's other things that happen there. Uh, uh, a lot of technology, brothers and sisters, when it came to uh, weaponry. Um, so there's some things that are not there in these four major categories, but I wanted to bring a, a better chart. Um, when you look at the end, brothers and sisters, look at everything that's there. You have artificial intelligence, 3D printing, biotech, robotics, uh, autonomous vehicles, nanotechnology, quantum computing. Uh, I don't know what the last one is. You know what that is, IoT? Um, but brothers and sisters, everything you have today, you can, you can, you can set it to automatic. Okay? I, I, I enjoy taking pictures, and, but every camera has an automatic program. And so what it does, it does everything that required someone to really know how light worked. And really just, you don't have to know it. You just put automatic and it does it for you. That's artificial our intelligence. It, uh, you have it on your phones, brothers and sisters, you have it in cars, self-driving cars that it will be, you know, they've been around. Um, a lot of things, brothers and sisters, uh, machines that require, you know, do the work of 20, 20 men. Um, eventually, brothers and sisters, I mean, the, 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 the United States military is looking into replacing human soldiers with machines. Um, and they do have them out there already, where they can shoot, they can think. You've got drones, brothers and sisters. You don't need pilots anymore. You know, you, you, you have, brothers and sisters, uh, warplanes that they categorize, brothers and sisters, uh, in different generations. And the generations that will be coming up probably won't require uh, a pilot. You're going to have pilot. Or you're going to have really drones, brothers and sisters, and several drones all linked together to to go out, and uh, they'll be able to fly faster and make sharper turns. Why? Because you're not limited by humans anymore. There's a lot of changes, brothers and sisters, and this this is what the future is looking to. Um, and so this great reset encompasses, brothers and sisters, really all of life. All of life, brothers and sisters, including the economic system, especially the economic system. Um, so let's go back to that. Um, and so after the war, there was a system. Countries got together in New Hampshire. There's a little town called Bretton Woods. Um, there is Bretton Woods sign, brother, picture. It says sign. If you can put that up. Um, Bretton Woods Monetary Conference in 1944. The United States government chose the Mount Washington Hotel as a site for a gathering of representatives from 44 countries. This was to be the famed Bretton Woods Monetary Conference. The conference established the World Bank, set the gold standard at $35 an ounce, and chose the American dollar as the backbone of international exchange. Very important, brothers and sisters. The U.S. dollar became the backbone. The meeting provided the world with a badly needed post-war currency stability. Um, and it has been the backbone, brothers and sisters, ever since. But there was a change in the year uh, 74. Um, there were some problems in 71 with this system. And the, and, and, and the problem is, was this, brothers and sisters, that gold at that time, I'm sorry, the dollar at that time was backed by gold, as you see here. Um, can you put up the next chart or picture? It's called the Bretton Woods system chart. If you look at this, is what, what happened with that, brothers and sisters, at that time. 
You have your U.S. dollar, which is linked to gold or pegged to gold. Uh, this system ended in 71. It, was, it wasn't replaced till 74, so this actually carried out to 74. But you have, brothers and sisters, it doesn't matter which country in the world, this is, there's only room for three here, but it, whether it was the British pound or the German mark or the French franc, brothers and sisters, every one was pegged to the dollar. So, for example, brothers and sisters, if you want to send grandma uh, money in Germany, uh, well, let's just say that you, you, don't live, you, you're, you live in Canada and you want to send money to, to, to Germany, you have to convert Canadian do dollars into U.S. dollars and then convert U.S. dollars into uh, German marks. Uh, you can't go directly from Canadian to German. Why? Because everything is, is pegged to the U.S. dollar. And that's the way it's always been. And so when the U.S., brothers and sisters, says, Iran, uh, I forget the word they use, or Turkey, or Venezuela, or North Korea, or Russia, <laughs> uh, they cut them off from being able to make any exchanges using the dollar. Okay? And they're able to do that. Um, and so these countries have to find another way to get around that. Um, and they have been doing that. And so what happens, brothers and sisters, uh, it's, it's interesting because in 74, and the reason that they had to decouple the dollar from gold, brothers and sisters, that's what happened. They decoupled the dollar from gold. Here it was pegged. All right? Here it was pegged. But after 74, brothers and sisters, it became disconnected. Okay? Now, the fact that, brothers and sisters, every, every, every currency in the world uh, is pegged to the dollar is benefited the United States a lot. Um, it gives us about 20% more purchasing power because of that, which is amazing. Um, you just imagine that your whole uh, purchasing power increases by a fifth, okay? Um, well, that's, that's, that's how we have benefited from that, brothers and sisters. Um, so it was under Nixon that this happened. Uh, France immediately asked for their gold. Uh, what was the name? Does anyone... Um, the Gaul, yeah, he asked for the gold, and it took a while that he got his gold. Um, uh, I don't know how, how many remember, maybe 10, 20, when was it, like maybe 10 years Germany asked for their gold back? How many remember that? Um, yeah, a lot of countries have been asking for their gold. Um, true, true. Okay. So the Great Reset is looking, brothers and sisters, to take this to bring an end to this uh, uh, this entire system. That's what they want to do. And so the question is, what will they replace it with? And that's a good question. They don't like Bitcoin, brother. And the reason they don't like Bitcoin is because Bitcoin gives you freedom. It, because no one owns it. But, brothers and sisters, it is going to go digital. China is working on their digital currency. Uh, last I heard is the U.S. was working on one, too. But, brothers and sisters, how many remember during the last stimulus they said, we're going to go to a, to a digital dollar and we'll be able to deposit your stimulus straight to your... Or, or it'll be instant or something like that, right? It'll be instant. I remember that being on the news. Um, and so there's, there's some changes, brothers and sisters. I, I don't know how much the President Trump agrees with any of this. Uh, he hasn't said. But, brothers and sisters, there's just changes up ahead. And there are organizations 
that are doing everything they can to bring this about. Now, Brother Hefner touched on something the other day, which I'm going to cover again. Um, uh, so let's open our Bibles to the book of Revelation. We'll look at ch chapter 6. Let me see. Chapter... Let me see. Let me, before, before we do that, brothers and sisters, let me just uh, mention a few things here. Um, we, were, we had been looking at Revelation chapter 13. We were, this was uh, several weeks ago, two, three weeks ago. Uh, we're going to go to Revelation 13, brother, verse 15 through 17. Um, so we'll start with that one. And we had looked at America. We had looked at uh, how, how uh, her purpose and prophecy in coming days. God's brother and sister is going to fulfill his word uh, concerning America. And there are some things that we can, we can consider as unmovable. I see that scripture, brothers and sisters, is something that will happen at the right time. Um, but I also know, brothers and sisters, I look at George Washington's vision, I know what, which, in which direction she will not go because of those scriptures. Now we see, brothers and sisters, really a... A, 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 a world movement trying to set up a world government. We saw, brothers and sisters, how there are countries behind this. There are uh, company executives, billionaires involved with this. The Catholic Church is involved with this. Um, there are other churches involved with this. I drive a lot for work, brothers and sisters, and I run across a lot of churches. I, I, see, I see the buildings, um, and sometimes I'm a little curious about what kind of church it is, because you can't always tell. And so I'll, I'll go on my phone, and I'll, I'll get on their page. And uh, I look to see what kind of messages they're preaching. Everyone, and sisters, they're preaching all about uh, Black Lives Matter, about social justice. Um, I have people that believe that way, brothers and sisters, are after a more just world, according to them, and so they would follow in 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 along. They would their thoughts would come, go right along with brothers and sisters the things that this great reset uh, is looking to do. So I, I I do think that these a lot of these bigger churches are are participating in this. Um, Uh, we'll look at 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Um, again, brothers and sisters, in order for the world is in a place technologically, brothers and sisters, where they can, they have the ability to monitor, they have the ability, brothers and sisters, to to mark you, and brothers and sisters, 
and to keep track of where you are, what you do, what you buy, what you sell, uh, your routine. They can monitor your routine, brothers and sisters. They can know, brothers and sisters, who your friends are, which church you go to, what you believe. There's a lot of things, brothers and sisters. I was, I was watching a documentary on how Amazon got so big. And uh, Amazon is one of these companies that covers just about every, every area. They're a technology company. They're a cloud company, right? Uh, they, are, uh, they are into AI with their Alexa products. Um, and so I, I was learning, brothers and sisters, that all of this information has given, given them the edge. They, if, if you, no company really can compete when you have that in, much information on a person, okay? Um, and, and it's just amazing, brothers and sisters, how far this has come in, in, in so few years. Um, but we can see, brothers and sisters, the, the ability for them to track and to authorize you to buy and sell, to do business, to open your business, right? To sell anything online or anywhere. It's, they're very well, very well able to do that today, brothers and sisters. Um, It says, and it causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in the right hand or in their forehead, uh, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Okay, so this is a scripture that we're familiar with, brothers and sisters, and, and, uh, and we know that there will be a time, brothers and sisters, where this is going to take place. Now, what most of the religious world doesn't know, brothers and sisters, which um, we have because of Brother Jackson, is that this is not going to be worldwide. Now, it's not going to be worldwide because they don't want it to be worldwide. They want it to be worldwide. Okay? The Antichrist, brothers and sisters wants to govern the whole world. He, 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 he ends up having to settle for the old world. But why is that, brothers and sisters? That's, that's an interesting question, brothers and sisters. Why does he end up only governing, brothers and sisters, where that, that, uh, that beast was? The geographical area of the old world, brothers and sisters, the old, around the old, that Mediterranean Sea. Why is that, brothers and sisters? Why is it? The Bible says so, brother says. But you know, but brother, the, uh, the Antichrist has a bigger, bigger vision than that, right? <laughs> We're going to have to bring Brother Highsmith up here and help me because the brother is right. The brother's right. The, the, the Antichrist, he doesn't know. He, he, he wants everything, brothers and sisters. And we see, brothers and sisters, this movement that is going on worldwide as, brothers and sisters, a movement that is anti-Christ in the spirit. It's anti-God, brothers and sisters. It is a spirit, brothers and sisters, that is, that is uh, pushing against anything that's God. Okay? Anything that is, that is of God. Anything that, brothers and sisters, and that's why last week we saw where they're not for traditional marriage. They're not, brothers and sisters, 
for teaching your country's history. They don't want you to be proud for, of your country. They don't want you to be proud, brothers and sisters, of your last name, of your family history. They don't want any of that. Why, brothers and sisters? Because our loyalties should be only, brothers and sisters, with him. That are, those are his plans. But just like the brother said, just as the Bible says, brothers and sisters, God is not going to allow it. God is going to limit the area in which he is going to, to, to reign, rule, and reign over in uh, Europe, brothers and sisters. Now, it's not for lack of wanting, brothers and sisters. It's not for lack of wanting. He wants to govern the world. He wants to govern, brothers and sisters, the Americas. He wants to govern, brothers and sisters, uh, the, the, the Asian countries. But how many know, of you know, brothers and sisters, that Europe, or that Russia doesn't trust Europe? <laughs> how many of you know that China doesn't trust Europe? And we don't trust them either. And so what's going to end up happening, brothers and sisters, is that God's going to put a roadblock in front of him to where he is going to limit, brothers and sisters, him to just a certain geographical area. Um, let's look at uh, Revelation uh, 6. A brother mentioned this the other day. We'll read it. 6, chapter 6, verse 7 and 8. Six, seven. Uh, and when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, Come and see. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was death, and hell followed with him, and power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword, and with hunger, and with death, and with the beasts of the earth. Now, this is something that is so. It just in front of you, run sisters. But we always fail to see it. Isn't that how it is sometimes, run sisters, until, until God points it out and he highlights it and then you see it and you're like, how come I, I didn't, never, saw, never saw that? It's just the way it always is, brothers and sisters. God's got to open your spiritual eyes. And... Uh, and what that says, brothers and sisters, is that he is limiting the earth to only a fourth part. Only a fourth part. That's all that he's going to be allowed to, to rule, brothers and sisters. Now, when we look at the first four seals, brothers and sisters, we're looking at periods of time. And that's different than the others because those are more events than periods of time. In this period of time, in the fourth seal... Well, it's going to reach all the way, brothers and sisters, to the very end. All the way to the very end. And so we know, brothers and sisters, scripturally, that Antichrist is not going to rule in America, north or south. He's not going to rule, brothers and sisters, in, in the eastern countries or, brothers and sisters, in Central Africa, uh, or Australia, brothers and sisters. That's not where he is going to end up having, being able to apply his pressure, brothers and sisters, and, and get them to do whatever they want. It's simply, brothers and sisters, in one-fourth of the earth. One-fourth of the earth. Now, I, 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 this is what we know, brothers and sisters, that the scripture says. Now, we can, brothers and sisters, then try to fill in, you know, the, 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 the cracks and say, well, could this be hap could, is this the way that it's going to happen? Is that the way that it's going to happen, brothers and sisters? 
when it comes to America, we're, giving a, we're given a little bit more clarity because we have more Scripture than just this. We know that she has a, play to, a part to play. And this part that she is going to play, brothers and sisters, is, is uh, we know that she's going to counter that Antichrist in chapter 13. She's going to counter that dragon. That, that the earth, brother and sister, is going to swallow that flood. And so, brothers and sisters, this plan that they want to carry out is not going to be successful in America. Biden can say that he is going to implement the Great Reset. But, brothers and sisters, it's not going to happen here the way they want it to happen. It will be, uh, brothers and sisters, it will take place in other places. Now, I don't know if the United States, brothers and sisters, has a role in... in, uh, she always has had a role uh, in, in fighting for other countries. I don't know that. But, brothers and sisters, I don't want to get too much into the things that I don't know and speculate, brothers and sisters, but concerning this country, brothers and sisters, I believe, brothers and sisters, that there is going to be a great awakening, that there is going to be, brothers and sisters, a, a revival in this country, a great revival, not a great reset in this country. And I had said the other day, brothers and sisters, that once you go into socialism, you don't get out of it. You do not get out. You can say, well, look at Russia. Look at what they were. Brothers and sisters, they're still communists. It doesn't leave your system just because you have a president. It's the way you think. It, uh, it's, it's a spirit, brothers and sisters, that is very hard to break. And it's in the people. It's in the people, brothers and sisters. Um, And so you can fill in, brothers and sisters, you can fill in in between those areas that I did not cover. Um, but I don't truly don't believe, brothers and sisters, that this country is going to go socialist because it doesn't fit the picture. It doesn't fit, brothers and sisters, it's not going to go communist. It doesn't fit the picture. It doesn't fit the picture, brothers and sisters, of... George Washington's vision, where he commands, the angel commands her to learn to live for their God, learn to live for their country, and a couple other things. This country will remain, brothers and sisters, what she always has been. She's going to be cleansed. So she's going to be purified, brothers and sisters. There's going to be a purification process. But, brothers and sisters, it's going to... She's going to be, once again, brothers and sisters, governed by... or uh, by our Constitution. A lot of the things and a lot of the changes that have been made and, and the corruption, brothers and sisters, that has steered her off that course, that we can say will be reset and she will be on the right track. And, brothers and sisters, and that is truly, brothers and sisters, the grace of God. The grace of God. We look at, brothers and sisters, as the angel moves away. We've seen it in the past. What happens with that nation, brothers and sisters? It doesn't mean that it goes into what it was before that angel came, but she remains what it, what it became. That's what we have always seen. 
this country is going to remain, brothers and sisters. So you can use that information, brothers and sisters, and, uh, and, and you can choose to believe whatever you want to believe about the election, brothers and sisters. But I have my beliefs as to what I believe God is going to do. I, had, I said the other day, brothers and sisters, that the American people made a choice. We, the American people made a choice. And the American people chose God. That's very important, brothers and sisters. The devil is a thief, brothers and sisters. And he wants to rob you of your blessing and of your heritage. But if this country repents, brothers and sisters, if this country gets on her knees, brothers and sisters, and asks God to deliver her, I believe that God will, brothers and sisters. And I believe that just as she shows God that God will, will be obligated to defend her, to protect her and to restore her. But, but it's dependent, brothers and sisters, on the spirit of the people, whether they will humble themselves, whether they will pray, whether they, brothers and sisters, will leave their old ways. All of these things come into play. And I believe, brothers and sisters, based on the prophecies that we have, uh, George Washington's vision, I believe that she does. And I believe, brothers and sisters, that God has, uh, has a plan. And he will, as the brother said very, very perfectly, the devil has his plans, brothers and sisters. But God is going to change the, the outcome. Man can plan, brothers and sisters. He can say, I will do this, tomorrow I will do this, and I will do that. And there's a scripture that says something like that. But brothers and sisters, where is the God willing part? <laughs> and the devil's never going to say that. Never, he's never going to say God willing because God is not willing that. God wants for America, brothers and sisters, to remain a bright and shining uh, light, brothers and sisters. A country, a nation, brothers and sisters, that took that gospel to every corner of the earth. And that she will once again, brothers and sisters, she will be that standard, brothers and sisters. She will return back to that. And, uh, and I appreciate, appreciate the Lord, brothers and sisters, but we know that, that Israel is going to have an important role. We know, brothers and sisters, that, that, that she will actually send preachers everywhere. Okay? She will send preachers everywhere and warn every country, brothers and sisters, about what's going on in Europe. And that's very important. We've got to keep that in mind, brothers and sisters, because, because God would not allow this spirit to get all over, the, all over the world the way that he wants. And so let's remember, brothers and sisters, let's remember that there are 144,000 that will not buy into this great reset, brothers and sisters, or any of the devil's plans. Um, all right. Well, we'll leave it at that, brothers and sisters. Um, but I, hope, I, I hope, really hope, brothers and sisters, that everything is coming together so that you can see uh, how, how sneaky the devil really is. Now, he's, he is, is right now, brothers and sisters, very bold. Very bold. He's putting it out there. This is our plan. They don't believe. They believe, brothers and sisters, that they have everything figured out. They believe, brothers and sisters, that it's as good as done. That nothing can stop them. And so they'll publish it. And they'll put it on television. And they'll tell you, brothers and sisters, they'll tell you, <laughs> they'll tell you that there was cheating. They will. At first, they denied it, and now they say, there was, but not enough to change the, 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 the results. Brothers and sisters, the enemy is very bold. The enemy is very sure of himself, brothers and sisters. Very proud. But that's exactly, brothers and sisters, what it takes. After that is the downfall, brothers and sisters. Always been that way. Um, but we're trusting in God, brothers and sisters. We're not bringing this out to make you afraid. And we're not make, bringing this out, brothers and sisters, 
to, to have you lock yourself uh, and not ever go outside anymore. Um, that's what they're doing. That's not, brothers and sisters, why we bring this out. It's so that, brothers and sisters, you're aware of what he's doing. And, brothers and sisters, you know exactly how to pray and what is needed in this country, in our lives, brothers and sisters. Um, and I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord. Um, all right. We're going to end it here. We're just about out of time. So I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas, brothers and sisters. May, uh, may you be, everyone here, brothers and sisters, just have a wonderful time with their families. You know, I, uh, my views on, on life have changed over the years, with, especially when you get kids, your views change. And uh, uh, I feel happy for them. Right? I feel glad for them because I remember being a kid. How many remember being a kid? You remember being a kid? Um, I remember being, being eight, nine, ten. And I remember how excited I used to get going to grandma's house. And there being all this food. And all my cousins and all my uncles were there. And brothers and sisters, those were probably the best times of your life. And you want, to, you want your kids to have those same memories. And so I do pray, brothers and sisters, we do it for them. But may they know, brothers and sisters, uh, may they know, brothers and sisters, it's more than just how many gifts you get. But the wonderful thing, brothers and sisters, is I think, just as the scripture says, is giving is better than receiving. Um, pray that uh, you have a wonderful time with your families, brothers and sisters. Uh, and whatever you do, may the Lord bless you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, just thank you tonight. Lord, I, uh, I just today I've been so rushed trying to get here, Lord, but and uh, and that kind of made me nervous and had a hard time getting kind of getting started. But Lord, I just look to you, Lord, to make up, Lord, where we fall short. Lord, ask that you just uh, move upon these words. Lord, bless them. Lord, bless them. Lord, I pray that you use them, Lord, to clarify a picture. Lord, thank you for everything that, uh, that you do. And Lord, I do pray that, uh, that you help our country, Father, that you help our, our people, Lord, for what's coming. And Lord, truly just pray, Lord, that, that the people can, can, Lord, not lose faith and not lose, lose sight. Lord, of, of the God that, Lord, that has been with this country since its beginnings, Lord. And there's a change that will come about, Lord, in the hearts of the people. Lord, and, and, and Lord, it's, it's true that we can't even repent, Lord, without your, your spirit, Lord. Without that Holy Ghost, Lord, and, and uh, it's going to take you. It's going to take you, Lord, every step, Lord, to get us to where we need to be. Just bless your people, I pray, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.